Hey, good morning, everybody. Steve here, and uh, we're gonna I think we're gonna read another chapter out of Proverbs. Um, it's interesting. So let's go ahead and hit up uh, Proverbs chapter two. My son, if you receive my words and treasures and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, for his mouth, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice equity in every good path. When wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is, ple is pleasant to your soul, discretion will persevere you, will preserve you. Understanding will keep you to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the paths of, right, of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and who are devious in their paths, to deliver you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words, who forsakes the companion of her youth, who forgets the covenant of her God. For her house leads down to death and her paths to the dead. None who go to her return, nor do they, nor do they regain the paths of life. So you may walk in the way of goodness and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land, and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth, and the unfaithful will be uprooted from it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's really interesting because there's a lot of things here that it talks about. Uh, it says, if you receive my words, uh, if you incline uh, your ear to wisdom you apply to your heart understanding, uh, then there's discernment, then lift up your voice for understanding. There's five things right there. And then uh, it says, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. It's interesting how a lot of people who claim to be Christians, and unfortunately there's a lot of false teachers and false prophets, that they will take to one thing out of these five. And yet, uh, they'll find themselves on the wrong path. They'll find their, their way down that road of wickedness. And uh, we've seen that in these days. We've seen it in Jesus' day when he talked about the false teachers and false, uh, false Christ and um, those people who do wicked things and teach others to do the same. Um, but the thing is, is that all those things have to be tempered uh, with what we see in God's Word. It can't be just one thing like, well, God told me this. Well, just because... It's, somebody told you something, a voice told you something, doesn't mean it's God. You know, you have to have His words. Uh, you have to test everything and make sure it's Him. Uh, you have to have understanding. You have to cry out for discernment. Um, you know, and then you will understand the fear of the Lord and the knowledge of God. So many times we, we rely on uh, different revelations, um, you know, private interpretations, and that gets us into uh, the paths of injustice and goes on to wickedness and immorality. But the whole thing is to walk in goodness and to walk in, in uprightness and that, uh, to be blameless before him. And we can only do that through Jesus Christ. So anyway, just remember that uh, we're to follow him and his word. And there's a lot of things that we need to do uh, to attain that knowledge of God and the fear of the Lord which is the beginning of real wisdom. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps you out this morning. Take care, God bless, and keep up the good work.